Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, hope everyone's doing well, and yes, it's time for some Minecraft, my dad's 17, mostly vanilla. Um, I'm running, of course, as you can see, um, a shader packs, so Opti Optifine is involved, and uh, I got a little mapping um, mod going on, um, I have something for my um, durability viewer, and a better third person, none of this really makes any difference to the game itself. Um, I think a mapping program or mapping should be part of Minecraft anyways. It just saves me using pencils. So, yeah. So, the first thing I always like to do is I always like to mark the spawn. So, yeah. So, there we go. And uh, now I've done something I haven't done before. It's, um, well, I didn't really see that. I was doing some testing. And I happened to like this seed. I thought, you know what? This giver to go, and so I decided just to go with this, which is very uncommon with me. So, and uh, I knew there's a village. I knew there's a, I guess uh, Java players call it Badlands, Bedrock, um, this Mesa. So, yes. Now, usually I spend a lot of time traveling, adventuring before I settle down and start building. Um, I'm not going to record any of that. It's dull to watch. It, it's fantastic if you're playing with multiple players and there's stuff going on between the players on the videos, but solo, not so much. Um, so I'm going to be cutting most of that out and um, I'm going to concentrate on the building aspect from it. So you need to understand that the first video videos are probably going to be a wee bit disjointed. Um, I am going to work on editing. So this is just the first part of the first video war. And then, then from here, I'm going to fan out and start grabbing stuff. I need to do what I want to do. And then I'm going to find a place to start actually building. And then we kind of concentrate on that. So I'll probably do a quick few update videos at the beginning. But for the most part, I'm just going to wander and explore. Um, I haven't really explored much. I haven't explored at all, so. Um, yes. Yes, I'm running Sildor's um, shader. I just can't remember which one. It's because I like lens flare. See? I like lens flare. So. I also like this spawn because, uh, yes, there's a village here, but that's not the big point. There's there's the uh, Badlands, and there's a Dark Oak Forest. Dark Oak being my favorite wood. Um, I do need to find a jungle, though. So we'll see how, we, we'll see how that particular part goes. And, uh, yeah, I've been trying to record for a very long time. I've had all sorts of little challenges. Oh, sweet! I did not know about this. When I was kind of testing in the other before I just kind of gloss over this part of the um, map and didn't really kind of look into it so so yeah there's my little dur durability and I have an inventory thing I think inventory management is very important so yeah um, so for those who don't know me I've been um, or my name is Ben Ben McLaurin um, all my social medias pretty well follows into that. My um, and my Bedrock uh, Xbox player gamer tag is the same, and all that good stuff. But uh, I've been playing Minecraft since April second, two thousand eleven. But for my birthday, two thousand eleven, played Java for years. Um, and played a few mods. Um, like a backpack mod. Um, actually, I believe I I even played uh, the map. This Xor is it Xor's? Oh, mapping mod. Can't remember when that came into existence, but it seems like I've been using it for Lord how how long? I have no idea. You know what? Four and a half years ago, I bought an Xbox. Got involved in Bedrock. Um, went to the dark side controller. Lost my ability to actually, you know, play mouse and keyboard since forever. And, um, yeah, and it turned out to be a great thing because that 
allowed me to meet people like Ginger and Fazo and Tangled, Sharky, and Chapter 70, playing on Realms. Um, we had a hell of a lot of fun. Then Chapter 70 and I decided to uh, get involved in the marketplace stuff. Well, Chapter was, at that point was involved in uh, marketplace stuff for quite a while. But um, got me involved, and that's been a lot of fun. And I'm sort of taking a hiatus from that. Because the, uh, I work retail in uh, Ontario, and retail in Ontario during COVID is nuts. Um, the rules are always changing. You always have to think on your feet um, when it comes to different programs and curbside pickup. And basically, we had, where I work, we ended up just Really well, I didn't. I kind of helped out inside. Um, had some really brilliant people doing that, getting all that set up just overnight like 24 hours. Um, so yeah, they did a fantastic job, but so uh, how much nicer that is. Um, so yeah, so I haven't been involved in the marketplace recently, I'd like to get back into it. But I decided, you know what, I'm going to just try to record. And I've had all sorts of recording issues involving sound. Now, I'm going to apologize right up front. My sound quality is not very good. Um, that has everything to do where my recording situation is. And there's nothing I can do about it. And I have done, yeah, I already did this. I've done everything humanly possible to... Communicate the problems, and that's just my reality. So, I'm hoping. Oh, wow, that's complete and utter failure. There we go. That's what I meant to do. So, yeah. So, I do apologize up front for my audio garbage. Um, I trust me, I've worked hard on it to even get to this level. And it comes to the point where you just have to hit record and just start doing stuff. I was watching, oh, I wish I could remember who it was. It was a um, YouTuber teaches video editing. And um, he was explaining how some people like to chase the, the perfection, making everything perfect. And the problem with that is that you actually never get anything done. And that's what I was falling into. So hopefully in time I can improve things. I even bought two two different mics. My initial mic was a Blue Yeti and then I bought a cheaper one. Right now I'm trying the Blue Yeti. Which is a fantastic mic. Don't get me wrong. So yeah, we're, so we're just going to do some basic um, Minecraft thingies for a bit, and uh, then we're just going to pause this video, and um, I'm going to do a whole bunch of exploring and resource gathering and try to find a place where I actually want to build. I am running all of this under Fabric, which is a first for me. I didn't think I was going to get Opti fine to actually run in fabric. Then it discovered it wasn't actually that difficult. I wanted to put my crafting bench. Oh, I might just have to make another crafting bench. Probably has, I'll probably end up with several crafting benches in the village. That pretty normal for me so yeah i want to make this series more about building i haven't quite decided what kind of stuff i wish to build but um or what kind of style oh i need that
time is it? Uh, got a few more minutes. So yeah, I gotta just give him. He's got twelve more seconds. So the magic number is eighteen thirty. 1831-ish. There's a few ticks in there. So, yes. So, I do know. Um, I believe. Respawn. This is the Dark Oak Forest. That's massive. I want that because um, I just don't want to deal with concrete. So we're going to venture this way and I got to pick a direction. Probably go north. If I can hit the ocean. Oh, there's no ability. Yeah, I definitely go north. And um, let's do that now. And um, I need to find a jungle. I like to have all the different kinds of woods, and then we'll start um, all the different kinds of woods handy, and uh, then we'll start collecting supplies, and then we'll decide what we want to do. Um, building style: Do I want to build natural buildings like trees, and you know, force people kind of thing? Oh, there's a bit more dark oak. Or do I want to build mod? I don't want to build bar. I don't like modern. I can build in modern. Done it. Don't like it. But I might at some point do that on this. I also may add a couple more mods to it. Nothing that's going to change gameplay. Um, I won't put a backpack mod in, although I'm really, really, really want to. Um, I think the kind of challenge with vanilla especially early game is the challenge of balancing your inventory so we won't be doing a backpack mod for that reason um there might be a few little tiny things i might put like um a camera mod in if there's one available i'll have to check um it doesn't really in fact it doesn't have any really impact on the game um, it's a few little things like that. It's not, it's not familiar with fabric enough. To, but Curse Forge makes it easy. I am running this through, um, Curse Forge launcher, so. So yeah, so this video is probably going to be relatively short. So let's do this. So yeah, that's what I like. That's what I look like. I'm doing hippie. Going the hippie route. All colorful, bright. Yip, 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 yip. I like making skins. I've done some from the marketplace, especially on our maps, and I had skin pack out. Um, if you like badgers, check out the, um, the badger. Um, the studio we published under his first block. So. so yeah, folks, I think we're going to, like I said, we're going to make this video short and sweet. I'm not going to bore you to tears. What is I mean, is that that? Nope. I think there's a sunken ship. That'd be sweet if we get the moss right up close.
Hold on, hold on. I think we might be building up there. It's gonna take the tin. Oh, I should probably put this armor on now. I think that's probably it for the ship. I know there's usually two chests on these, but broken in half, so probably just the one. We'll just leave that there. So let's just take what this map looks like. Oh, there's another ship over there. Oh, another. Where away is that? Well, I guess we're going to explore. Let's make this video a little bit longer than I anticipated. It's sweet that I didn't realize there was three. I didn't even. I thought there was only one village. Shows you uh, how closely I was actually looking. Oh, I could uh, come back to that. There might be a portal there. Uh, uh no, it's probably just you no. Know, it looks like a ravine, not a portal. All right, what I see on the map. Oh, sweet. This is just pure luck. Wow. Okay. Was not expecting this. Okay, so probably should make an axe. Oh, diamond. Grab that. All right, what was going on? Uh... There might there might not be anything up here. We'll take a quick peek. So yeah, I want to get this first video uh, recorded in the in the bag or in the tank or whatever they want, whatever the phrase may be. Um, simply because I am actually. House sitting this weekend. It's Canada Day weekend, and oh, there we go. And um, oh, that's gonna be handy. So I plan to play a lot of Minecraft. Sweet. So it goes the plan. I'm gonna put my boat, I think boat over here. And we'll just head over to the other village. So yeah, so I want to get this in the cam because I wanted to get this like right from the start, and then uh, then I can do all my exploring and everything off camera to see what's what. See how many times I die. And no, I will not be running a corpse mod. So if I lose, if I die, I do lose my stuff or I drop my stuff. So I will not be running a corpse or um, graveyard or angels. Lovely. So when I play mod at Minecraft, I certainly do.
I just want to run a few small mods just just to kind of help me out, but not to actually ch change the game. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, they're all over here. They're probably voting in to see if they need a, a um, iron golem. So. I love bread. Hello, coming through, coming through. Is looking like anything interesting there? Beautiful sunset. Annoying cat. Eat the apples because I like. I only like to carry one kind of food at a time. They quickly get the map, see if there's anything else of interest. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to kick you out of your bed. Oh, there's not a bed in here. There we go. There we go, folks. Uh, yeah, we're going to leave it at that. Uh, I know this video is fairly short. The way I want it. And, uh, yeah, so next time, um, hope I have a bunch of stuff and we can actually start doing things. So until next time, um, please subscribe, thumbs up, all that good youtube -y stuff, you know, what's the routine. I greatly appreciate it. It really helps out. And, um, yeah, I hope to see you guys back. Uh, feel free to leave comments, good, bad, ugly. I'm a big boy. I can take it. Um, she's going to troll me, try to at least entertain me. I like entertaining trolls. There's just not very many of them out there, so yeah. So, anyways, um, hope everyone keeps safe and um, until next time. Bye now.